you may be single-handedly more responsible for the buzz on this topic than anybody else I can think of, and that is creatine. One of the advantages of studying the effects of creatine on physical performance is we have really good objective measurements that you can demonstrate in a short period of time. How do we do that on the cognitive side? Right. What are the data that you've been looking at that have given you uh, an increasing level of confidence? Okay, well, first, let's talk about dose. The five grams a day didn't seem to be doing anything in terms of like getting creatine into the brain. And so the question- So creatine is, is crossing the blood-brain barrier, that's established? It, it is, okay. however- the muscles are greedy as hell. Ah, <laughs> lovely greedy muscles. Yeah, the greedy muscles. When you're taking in up to about five grams of, of creatine, they're, they're consuming it. Does that mean that you're going to get mixed results if you look at the cognition literature because you're going to have some studies that were underdosed? And if, if you have a study that was done at five and it shows no effect, you're going to come to the wrong conclusion potentially. Bingo. Just like with any yep. supplement and or drug right? Dose, dose matters. Just like with muscle, you have to be stressing your muscle for creatine to work. With the brain, it works in the background of stress. And what I mean by stress is sleep deprivation, psychological stress, like you have an exam, marital, I mean, what, whatever psychological stress, emotional stress, sleep deprivation is a big one, neurodegenerative disease, or anything that's compromising brain function, right? That's where creatine really shines in terms of cognitive function. And we'll get into measurements. I feel like I'm constantly under stress. I think most people are constantly under stress. First of all- Anybody listening, if you're not under stress, I'd like to hear from you. I wanna know what you're doing. Same. The brain consumes a lot of energy as well, right? It's 20% it's, it's of our total caloric exactly. intake goes to an organ that weighs less than 2% of your body weight. It is the most insane statistic of the human body. Totally, which is why it makes sense that giving your brain extra creatine, which can recycle that energy quicker, would help, particularly in the background of when you're using more of that energy.